Hey guys, welcome back to another Indiana Jones toy review, but it's not exactly a review, it's just an overlook at a custom figure. But this one, I did not actually make myself. I actually found this on eBay from a seller who was selling at least five of these. I just bought one of them and I actually got a really good deal on it. This is a really good one, as you see in a thumbnail and title, because as you can see, I have displayed my Indiana Jones DVDs. Also, I finally found a slipcover for The Last Crusade, as you remember it in my movie collection video or one of them at least i showed her that i had the the original trilogy dvd set from 2003 and it did not have a last crusade slip cover so i finally got one and um i am a million times happy <laughs> anyway so now that i got all four movies displayed alongside all four renditions of indiana jones in figure form for the respective films i have this box right here ready to cut open to see what's in here. As you see in the thumbnail and title, of course, this is obviously celebrating Indiana Jones and a dial of destiny. So, go ahead and open this up. The other side of the package, of course, has my address, so I'm covering that up as usual. Get this ripped open, get that tape out. Hopefully I got it. Yep. A lot of bubble wrap in under here. Figure is really protected into this bubble wrap. It's in a little baggie. Gotta get it out from underneath. Move this off the way. Get everything out. All right, so we're gonna get the accessories out. So that is the bull whip. And here's the coiled up bull whip. It's actually a red coiled up bull whip. It looks more like a Temple of Doom looking one. Here it is. Definitely a red looking bull whip. Of course, it came with another accessory, this one, which came with the fertility idol Indiana Jones from the first wave from Raiders of the Lost Saga. It was one of the artifacts. So that's what this whole set came with. And of course, it comes with a revolver because it, it won't be Indiana Jones without a revolver. And let me go ahead and get the figure together. And here it is Dial of Destiny Indiana Jones, which is a custom figure that I found. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. Like, it uses the body of Last Crusade in Indiana Jones and the head of Crystal Skull Indy, of course, with a removable hat. And it just looked really good. And to be honest, it was something that I really wanted to try myself because I absolutely love that Dial of Destiny had uh, Harrison Ford wear the tie again, like, to reference his Last Crusade look because I always love that tie for some random reason. I just really like that look. So to get him looking like that really made me happy so much. So this is basically Crystal Skull indeed, the head on here. But let me go ahead and get the hat off because it actually is a lot tighter to fit on the head. There we go. Here is the head sculpt of Harrison Ford. And this actually looks a bit better than my other Harrison Ford uh, head sculpt on the Crystal Skull indeed I have. This actually looks a lot better. It's like, it doesn't look too rushed looking. That actually looks like him a lot better. Yeah, that looks really good but of course this is crystal skull in these so this is him at his 60s so it wouldn't really uh work entirely because harrison ford was in his late 70s during dial of destiny but he was obviously 80 81 right now <laughs> let's go ahead and try to put this hat back on him yeah it's a real tight squeeze to fit it right back on him unlike my other crystal skull indie which was basically very easy to put the hat on which, let's go ahead and give a comparison. Right here, this is Crystal Skull Indy. There we go. So you can see the difference. Obviously, the head on the Crystal Skull Indy, it's like it can easily pop off. But this is how it looked previously. The paint looked a little rush on this one, but it just looks okay. The hat goes right back on him with no real issue right there. And yes, Crystal Skull Indiana Jones had his satchel outside the jacket instead of inside, tucked in like the original three because he learned from his experience on the tank in Last Crusade. Not sure about Dial of Destiny having the same thing, but maybe it is, but I have to go back and look it up. Overall, it looks really nice. Just fits in with the Dial of Destiny look, just without a doubt. The only thing I will say about Dial of Destiny and Indiana Jones, of course, is a major difference is that he never really had his uh, gun holster, for, as far as I'm concerned. I feel like he only had a whip class, so I may be able to recustomize this it's just only have his whip class because that's all he really had. Not sure if he really had his holster or he rarely had his holster. 
And also, another thing is that he didn't have a satchel bag on this side, but he had it on the other side. Which is something that I always thought was interesting because how he puts Archimedes' dial inside his satchel bag because it's located this direction. So, let me go adjust that. So, there it is. I have to look back and see if he actually has it from the inside or the out. At least for what I've seen, he always had the satchel on this side. Or maybe he had the satchel put on the other side later on in the film if I have to go back and uh, look at it. But, yeah. Basically how it looked on the other side. So used to having it on the other side though, that's obvious because it's an Indiana Jones figure most of the time he has a satchel on the other side. But again, really nice figure, just really nice custom too. It's just a very short and simple custom, but I didn't do this myself. I wish I did, but I didn't. And I think it really did save me the time and all that stuff, just to buying the figure in general. So it is really nice looking. But yeah, that this is it. This is all there is to it. It's just... Indiana Jones, customized to look like the Dial of Destiny Indiana Jones. Nothing really special, but it is really fun to take a look at this figure. Because again, I got this off of eBay, and there are probably four left by the time I'm recording this. And at the time, it might, it might have been sold out. Don't know if people are actually going to pick that up. But yeah, let's go ahead and place all four Indies all at once. There's Last Crusade Indie, Temple of Doom Indie, and... Raiders of the Lost Ark Indy, or at least my Cairo Raiders. And as you can see, there are a few updates to some of these figures because there are at least, <laughs> yeah, it's funny, my favorite Indiana Jones movies are the ones with the most customs. <laughs> so I have an overlook of all the figures in general. You have Raiders Indiana Jones right here, which I did review the uh, Indiana Jones figure with the Ark, and this is the body from it. And the head is obviously from the Temple of Doom Indiana Jones. And I did use this Temple of Doom Indy's head and switch them both out. This one still fits in smugly and it actually looks a lot better to fit on this one. And this Raiders Indy, the Temple of Doom head fits on here better because it's not nearly as loose because I put the other head on in the other review and it looked a little loose on or it felt a little looser. But this one is a bit more tighter at least. And then Last Crusade Indy, which I actually updated, I did show pictures of the uh, community post. I updated the head by switching it, putting a Temple Trap Indiana Jones head on it. It looks so much better, so it really fits his likeness and the Last Crusade look. And of course, Crystal Skull Indy just looks the same, no real difference. <laughs> and yeah, now I got Dial Destiny Indiana Jones again. It really does work with the removable hat. That is it for this video. This is like an evolution of different uh, Indiana Jones figures, like pr the progressing films. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look of all the different indie figures for each respective film. <laughs> and I will be seeing you guys later on more Indiana Jones reviews coming soon.